Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. The principal of an exclusive private school in Melbourne's east has described the actions of a group of Year 11 boys as disgraceful. A group of students at Yarra Valley Grammar posted photos of female students in an online chat group rating whether or not they'd have sex with them. Four Year 11 students have been suspended pending an investigation. Principal Mark Merry's told Nine News he's also seeking further advice from police. This was a shock not only to us but also to the the students concerned. Going to be consulting the police because the language used could could be an inferred threat. I don't think it was, on, but we need to get further advice on that. Children's best interests will be given greater consideration when a couple separates under family law reforms which kick in today. The changes were passed by federal parliament in October last year. They remove a legal presumption that parents share equal responsibility for a child. Attorney General Mark Dreyfus says it's about protecting young people who could be in a dangerous situation. The changes will make what is an often confusing and complex system easier to navigate for families going through a challenging period. Some of Melbourne's most famous buildings are being lit up this week in memory of people impacted by road trauma. Melbourne Town Hall, Flinders Street Station, the Bolt Bridge and Box Hill Town Hall are just some of the buildings that will shine a light on road safety this week. It comes amid a horrific motorcycle accident in Bendigo in which a bike rider was killed when their bike burst into flames in a collision with a ute. The rider is yet to be identified while the driver of the ute suffered non-life-threatening injuries. An investigation are continuing after a 16-year-old boy was shot dead by police in Perth. They say the boy had become radicalised online and had stabbed a man at Willerton Bunnings. Sport and entertainment is next. In sport, the Central Coast Mariners are the new AFC Cup champions after beating the top Lebanese Premier League side in Oman. The 1-0 win has kept alive the Mariners' bid for an unprecedented treble, having already claimed the Premier's plate. The Sharks remain on top of the NRL ladder following a gutsy 20 points to 10 win over the Dragons at a soaked points bet stadium, while the Knights beat the Warriors in yesterday's other game, 14 points to 8. And in AFL, Fremantle smashed Richmond 103 points to 40. The Lions beat the Suns by 34 and Hawthorne had a seven-point win over Western Bulldogs. In entertainment news, Madonna has finished her world tour with a bang. More than 1.6 million people dancing to Like a Virgin in Sand in Brazil. Records tumbled as the singer's fans turned out for a free concert in Rio de Janeiro. At one point, they were loud enough to take over singing for her. And there'll be a little bit of an Aussie flavour in this year's Met Gala with Chris Hemsworth to co co-host the most exclusive celebrity event in the world. It will be the first time the Aussie actor has attended the event. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.